Welcome to the Hunterian Museum at the Royal College of Surgeons of England. We're celebrating our bicentenary because we've been open on this site in Lincoln's Inn Fields for 200 years. I'm standing in our crystal gallery in which we display the remaining specimens of our founder, John Hunter. Hunter was an 18th century surgeon and anatomist who's now known as the father of scientific surgery. And what we try to do in his museum is to tell the story of the past, present and future of surgery. If I had to choose three, just three objects from this magnificent collection to symbolize three major milestones in the evolution of surgery, I would begin with this. An early form of anesthetic inhaler from the mid 19th century. For me, it recalls that magical moment on the 16th of October, 1846, in Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston when William Morton demonstrated to the public for the very first time the successful use of ether inhalation as a safe and reversible unconsciousness producing agent. The conquest of pain. The second object is Joseph Lister's carbolic acid spray engine. It symbolizes the inauguration of antiseptic surgical practice, surgery performed in a clean and uncontaminated environment. At last, the surgeon's great and deadly foe, post-operative wound infection, was tamed. And now, for a spectacular breakthrough from the late 20th century, symbolized by this object that you see in front of you. A rigid endoscope connected to an external light source and with an integrated microchip video camera connected to an external television monitor. The age of keyhole surgery was truly upon us. Hello, I'm Millie and I'm the curator in the museum's department and at the moment I'm just getting ready for our next big temporary exhibition. So we're standing in one of our main museum stores as you can see and I'm just getting uh, some of the specimens ready to go on display. So here we have uh, one of the specimens that I'm going to be putting on display. It's a wild boar skull and as you can see it has um, a rather extensive bone infection at the front of the jaw which is called actinomycosis. Um, and a lot of this material is still kept in store, so there's a lot that's not on display. Um, but the exhibition is a brilliant opportunity to get some of this material out and tell the story of why surgeons and dentists referred to so much animal material in the past um, and used it to better understand human anatomy and human pathology as well. So here we have another object that's going on display in our temporary exhibition. And this is actually one of the most recent items that's going to be on display because this was in fact actually made just a week ago here in the museum's department by our head of conservation, Martin Cook. And it's called the Martin Brain because it stands for Model Anatomical Replica for Training Young Neurosurgeons. And these models are made in the college and then used by neurosurgeons to learn and understand the workings of the brain um, and how to undertake brain surgery. <laughs> 